Hi, you're on Rescue TV. We are here with the delightful author, speaker, coach, and all-round genius, <laughs> Pat Massetti, to talk about the tips for achieving prosperity. Mm. Now, you have taught a lot of very wealthy people and you've worked with a lot of inspirational people, mm -hmm. including... Uh, so Richard Branson, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, uh, Mike Tyson. That's one of the ones I'm not too fond about, but uh, <laughs> so, some very, very popular. And, and wealthy and, people. And wealthy people. And you know what? I've discovered that, you know, you can having money doesn't really make you prosperous, as in the case of Mike Tyson. <laughs> well, let's talk about the prosperity mindset mm. and how for all of us who are, you know, on that journey of perfecting our craft or, mm. you know, saving and, uh, and reaching toward a goal of financial, at least freedom, mm. what are some of the lessons from the masters that we can apply to our lives? And what are some mm. of the lessons you teach at your workshops? First thing is you've got to define what you want. What is it that you really want? If it's finances, then you've got to be committed to it because prosperity is more than just money. But so often people go, oh, you know, I've got more things than just money. I go, well, money is a very important part of life. So define what you want. Okay. Secondly is get a financial mentor. Who is it in your life that's teaching you and helping you that's saying, hey, follow me? Because a mentor is not someone whose advice you listen to. It's someone whose advice you follow. And it's important oh, that's to a good get, distinction. Absolutely, because people listen, but they don't follow. Mm. Then they wonder why it doesn't work. Like, uh, and, and people think because they listen that they're doing. It's not okay. It's not the case. You've got to follow through, which is the third thing, is commit to an action plan. Right. I really believe that most of our financial uh, rewards or lack thereof is because we don't have a good financial plan or it's a result of bad advice. Okay. Most people get bad advice. Someone the other day asked me on a, on a national TV show, how do you get rich quick? And I said, slowly. I it's, love that, yeah. yeah. And that's very important because people try to get rich quick. Wealth doesn't happen at the speed of a McDonald's burger. It's like a well-cooked meal. It takes time. And if you get the greed out of your eyes and out of your head, you'll get the abundance in your heart and that'll manifest. So wealth is a process, not an event. It's not a quick fix. And then the other thing is realize where what your financial story's been. Because mm -hmm. we've all got one. Some people's financial story goes like this, you know, paycheck to paycheck, yep. fear or scarcity mentality. Other people, they're just so busy with life that they really haven't got time to even think about themselves. Other people, they get money, they want to spend it. Other people are so tight. You know, I, I tell people they hold their dollar coin so tight that the queen is choking, you know. <laughs> and so what's your story? And is that story helping you? Or diminishing you financially and that's a very important question that people are going to ask themselves a lot of people learn their financial behavior from the family that they were mm -hmm. brought up in and a lot of successful people talk to the fact that the the position that they find themselves in now is so vastly different from mm. the environment they grew up in mm. how do you change your story mm. you've got to deal with the viruses all of us have <laughs> what, what I call viruses from culture religion background uh, a certain area of time. For example, we were taught, you know, uh, go out there, get a good job, work in the bank, work for the government. Well, really? Come on, give me a break. That's not security these days. Unless you're an ATM, you may not have a job in the bank. Um, or they, they say, you know, get a house and that's it. Well, they didn't know that we could leverage our home and, and use the equity in our home and, and the, the, the various ways that we can invest, say, in property. And a lot of times we've got to then get ourselves to a point where we realise, this blockage in my head, where did I learn that from? Who taught me this? Being aware is very important. Where you learn it from and is it working? If it's not working, stop doing it. Mm. And so many people do the same thing over and over again and nothing, it doesn't work. But they keep doing it because it's all they know. So you've got to flush those viruses out where it's people like myself and obviously programs like this really help people realign their viruses or get rid of their viruses and, and move on to another level. And do you feel that there's, um, you know, a better time to start? You know, a lot of people talk about teaching your children good financial habits. Mm. But what if you're, you know, in your 40s, you're in your 50s, whatever. Is now. You can start as... Now. Right. It, it, uh, sorry, question, but so often people say, oh, when's the right time? Now. Today. Right now. Right now. How much money can you put aside right now to invest? Not save, invest. It's a different mentality. Um, like you, the best time is right now, regardless of age, because you're moving towards your future. Now, there's one thing I've heard you say over and over again, and it's to give it away. Tell Absolutely. me about that concept. The wealth of the person is not in what they have, it's in what they give. 
and I've discovered whatever you want in life, give it away. You can't give away love and think you're going to get money back. It's the law of seed, time and harvest. Whatever seed you put in the ground, you can't plant a pumpkin and end up getting a lemon. It's not going to work. So I really believe if you want to prosper financially, give money away. Give it away. It will come back to you. If you hang on to it, the very thing you're trying to protect, you're going to lose. But if you learn to give it, and give strategically. I wouldn't put a good seed into a bad soil. Give to somewhere where you know there will be a reward for them and somehow for you. It may not come from them, but it'll come from another source. So you mean by charity or when you say you give it yes, away? Charity, church, uh, someone in need. Uh, it could be just even someone you're working with. You know they need some help. Now, if they've got bad behaviours, you don't want to encourage their bad behaviours sure. by giving to them. But if there is a genuine need, help them out. Whatever you give in life will come back to you. And I've lived my life like that. We've given over probably a million dollars away in the last four or five years. And my life is so blessed and prosperous financially that I, I give my way to wealth. Well, I think that is an absolutely beautiful philosophy. And thank you for your expert tips because first we'll make it, then we'll give it away. Or do we do it while we're making it? Whatever works. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Pat. Lovely to see you. And so um, we look forward to welcoming you back to Rescue TV. Thanks for having us on the program. Appreciate it.